It's now time to make this quiz work. Ideally, what we want is for the user to read the question, choose a response, and when they click Submit Answer, it tells them whether their response is correct or incorrect. So we're going to use um, the Blockly programming language, which is very, very similar to Scratch, to write a little bit of code um, to make this quiz work. So first of all, I'm going to click on Submit Answer, go to Edit. So we've already named the button with the label, so which time we're going to go to Action, and it's as default, it looks like it's email, so we're going to change the action and move down to Blockly. I'm just going to click Expand, and this will move, and let's see what we can do. So first things first, let's go to Logic down here, and we've got this block here which says If Do. So I'm going to click on that, and it puts it into uh, the canvas here, and we can then start adding things to it. So the next step is to look at Logic. So what we want is this. Click on that. There we go. So what it's saying is, um, if something is equal to something, then do something. So we're going to pop over to our variables here. Now if you remember rightly, this is the variable from the only question that we've got. So let's move this around. So app shed variable name is earth name. Let's drag that into this little block there. Fantastic. So with app shed variable name equals here, and then we need to say what it equals. So if app shed variable earth name equals, let's go back to logic. No, let's go to text. Uh, grab this and move this here. App shared variable name earth name equals, and if you remember right, it was terror. Then we're going to do something. So if I go to JavaScript here and choose text alert, let's use that. Whack that in, get some more text, put it there. So what this is saying is if terror, if they put terror in, it's a correct answer, then they're going to do, then put a little text alert. So we could say, well done. That is the right answer. Fantastic. Well done, that is the right answer. It's coming off a little bit there. But we also want to give a response if it isn't the right answer. So if I come up here to this star, and I'm going to use else. If I drag it to here, I get a little, click on there, little add-on. So now I need to... Uh, again, go to JavaScript and choose this alert text, fit it in there, and we want another little text box. Um, that answer is wrong. Try again. So, if the app shed variable earth name equals Terra, then we're going to do a text alert that says, well done, that is the right answer. Else, so if it isn't, doesn't equal terror, we're going to get a text alert that says, that answer is wrong, try again. Let's go up to save, see if that works. So let's have a look. What is another name for earth, that round thing? Let's submit the answer. The answer is wrong, try again. Okay. Let's try the globe. The answer is wrong, try again. Now, fingers crossed, let's choose Terra. Well done, that is the right answer. Okay. In the next tutorial, we're going to add to your, our Blockly program, our Blockly code, so that if the user chooses the incorrect answer, it will take them back to the Earth page for them to do some extra revision, and if they get the correct answer, it will take them to the next section, which is on our main menu, the Saturn section, um, for them to move on and learn something new.